Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing today, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, for November 2022. See what's going to be happening in your life, what predictions we could be making, and what your horoscope is looking like with these tarot cards today, all right? So if you do enjoy this tarot reading, Capricorn, let me know in the comments below how my tarot readings help you out, darling. That's how I keep up with y'all. It's through the uh, comments, my beautiful Capricorn. And as well, darling, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, Capricorn, be sure to um, check out your sun, moon, and your rising. That's how you get the best understanding of what is happening in your life, uh, Capricorn. And darling, if you want to give this video uh, or me any type of support, the best way to do it is completely free, Capricorn. Just give this video a like and subscribe down below because it does help me out quite a bit. And yeah, I always appreciate it who do, uh, for those who do that extra step to support me. Other than that, let's get right into your tarot reading here today. Starting out with the back of the deck energy, Capricorn, which is the Fool card, all right? The back of the deck energy is the energy that you don't see coming towards you, Capricorn. So what you don't see coming towards you is the Fool energy. Something is about to be approaching you that's going to put you into this place of feeling like the Fool. Do you choose to take a leap of faith with something, taking a risk, starting a whole new journey, a new path? embarking on this new journey maybe with somebody all right if there's a person included in this you know this could be taking a fool's journey when it comes to a relationship in your life platonic or romantic or it could be uh, coming into your career financially for you a leap of faith when it comes to that regard all right only what you will know uh, where it's fitting for you capricorn all right so with that in mind darling let's get right into this here first impressions of your rose right now capricorn Oh, a lot. <laughs> You've been going through quite a bit here, haven't you? A lot of highs, a lot of lows, a lot of stuff just going on. You feel as if you've been walking on eggshells perhaps recently. And the reason why you have this full energy, what you don't see coming towards you is because right now you've been having a lot of things coming to an end. I feel like on some level as well, you've been seeing certain people in different ways or you've been cutting off the certain people that have been always having you feel anxious. I feel like there are certain individuals in your life as well, especially family related or someone that used to be close to you like family, maybe you considered like family uh, Capricorn, that you are having second thoughts about being like, oh, should I have opened up to this person again or should I push them away again? Like there's definitely something going off in your head, Capricorn, about somebody or a situation being like, mm, should I bow out of this? All right. There's something familiar that you're noticing here with the signs. And so um, let's just get right into this here. Overall, though, Capricorn, what I see manifesting for you is really positive. So I don't want you to get too anxious about all that there. We'll flesh out all these messages, though. Getting into your first row, Capricorn, we have uh, the three and nine of swords with the high priestess here so capricorn there's something going on in your life right now that you're just like that's having you feel like you're crazy maybe someone is making you feel like you're crazy all right um in the most negative of ways maybe someone's making you starting to gaslight you capricorn all right or maybe whether that's intentional or unintentional whatever the case is it's like intuitively you're feeling something but at the same time it's just like I don't know. It's like you can't really put your finger on it. And it's just like it's really haunting you, Capricorn. And so let's take some let's take a look at these clarifiers here. Let's just get right into this here. There's really not much to unpack with that there initially. So getting into this here, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and then the King of Swords here, Capricorn. Okay. So first things first, I feel like there's someone that you really see through. Or maybe you don't feel like you see through them, but I feel like you really understand them. Um, in this type of dynamic here, I really get heavily like family oriented here, Capricorn. All right. I know this is becoming the holiday seasons for everybody right now, but this is like a direct sign. Like I usually don't get messages like this here, but this is like a direct sign Capricorn of where it's just like, you need to keep your guard up. You need to protect yourself at this time. Don't be giving second or third or fifth chances to people, especially if they like, if you at one point in time really trusted them, because I really do get with this 10 of pentacles. It's like you shared a home with them. You shared a meal with them. And for whatever the reason is, there's like some hurt. There's some betrayal here. And I don't know why I keep on getting like the sense of second chances. Maybe you've ignored it in the past. And because you're just like, oh, I don't want to see them in this light. I don't want to. It's like you didn't want to. 
uh, give it a, you didn't want to make them out to be like a malevolent person with their actions so you're just like you gave them a, that's what it is it's like i feel like you give people the benefit of the doubt too much capricorn and i feel as if you're going to get an affirmation of like why you don't usually give the benefit of the doubt to certain people because i feel like especially with your energy capricorn i feel like people excuse think like confuse you giving the benefit of the doubt as you being stupid where they're just like they think that you don't notice it or that you're not on to them because i don't feel like there's not really too much confrontational energy here not that you're afraid of confrontation capricorn but i feel as if you'll just like notice it and maybe you'll like say something or kind of just like imply that you, it's not getting it's you that it's not gonna get through to you and it's like they still like i don't know it's interesting here capricorn so take that with what you will i don't want to sit in that energy for too long because you really do have a lot of good stuff here for you and i feel like just pay it dust all right so what you have to be looking forward to in your second row capricorn is the hanged man the world and the king of pentacles you're stepping into a, a bossed up version of yourself capricorn here all right and i feel like this bossed up version of yourself comes through an accumulation of the multiple things all right one from just your own personal work and development that you've been doing on yourself but also i feel like on some level you wouldn't have to be the person that you are now if it wasn't for certain people that you've had to deal with so what I mean by this Capricorn is that we don't really know our proper boundaries or how to place boundaries in our life until we have to. And I feel like there are certain people that you were pushed to having to place the boundaries with Capricorn because you're just like, you know what, I'm starting to, you are starting to learn to listen to your intuition. And you're just like, you know what, when I, when I think I can see there's a snake, I'm going to listen to my intuition and know that they are a snake rather than giving them the benefit of the doubt or so on and so forth. All right. I don't know. I feel like for you, Capricorn, it's like this final decision of just accepting that you are more intelligent than what you give your credit for, your self credit for essentially here. There's like this new version of yourself. I feel like you're stepping into that has a lot more confidence, a lot more swagger. And it's like with this new found swagger, it's like you it's like you understand that you have like a service to offer, like you have worth. I don't know. Nine of Wands. Queen of Cups here. Two of Wands coming in. Interesting. Yeah. It's like having like this new... I don't want to say this new bossed up version of yourself, Capricorn, but this acceptance of where it's like you are, you, I guess the best way to put this is that you're no longer in care. You care about being the bad, coming off as the bad guy, Capricorn, because you're just focused in on your, on your goals, on your ambitions. Whereas maybe a earlier Capricorn cared about people's opinions of you, right? Maybe before in Capricorn, a future, the future that you wanted to see for yourself was you building that business but also sharing that business with people that you love. And I feel like maybe on some level now you're realizing me like, okay, I can still build that business, but the people that I'm going to share that business with is not the same people that I'm with right now. Um, also on some level here, I don't feel like you, yeah, as I said before, I feel like you're starting to just not really care about how you come off as, because I feel like on some level, you understand Capricorn that the people that are going to love you are going to love you regardless. And the people that want to dislike you are always going to find a way to dislike you one way or another. And I feel as if right now you're just at a point where you accept you being like, you know what? It is what it is. I feel like you're really in tune with who you are, who Capricorn is. And you're just so at peace with what it is that you present to the world that you're not really interested in trying to get other people to understand and to see and think the way that you see and think i don't know this is interesting now what you need to hear today what you need to pay attention to capricorn empress ten of swords and eight of pentacles coming in here right now your life may feel as if you're not going up because there's a lot of painful cycles coming to an end right with that ten of swords a lot of things have come to an end here a lot of humble humbling uh, experiences right empress energy though the empress i always say she's the one that is building character actively through life events all right the empress doesn't realize uh the only way the empress really appreciates her own personal beauty and her power is by going through the trials and tribulations and so really in this type of message here capricorn is like right now certain like your life may not feel like it's going forward because of all the painful things that you've been having to release and coming to things coming to an end but i promise you you are absolutely going forward in life 
All right. I promise you that Capricorn. I say that with complete confidence here. And so the best thing that I can really be telling you right now is just because you're dealing with a bunch of uh, things coming to an end, pain, loss, Capricorn, people that you've had to let go of, that doesn't mean that you had changed yourself. If someone says that you're a bitch, Capricorn, that doesn't mean that you need to make yourself more meek, more quiet. That's a them problem, essentially is what I'm trying to get across here, Capricorn. I feel as if the more that you are just very unapologetically Capricorn, you're just like, this is who I am, take it or leave it, but don't try to make it seem like it's that I'm anything that I'm not, right? Is what I get with this energy here. So um, good luck with all that, Capricorn. Let's get into your Oracle Tarot reading here. And so, oh, Oracle reading now before I send you off on the rest of your Tuesday here, Capricorn. Your moon oracle card is the, what is this? The attendant to the details, last quarter moon in Virgo. Attending to the details, Capricorn. So this is really, I feel like the fine tuning, really. Like this is like the last part, the last chapter that you needed to go into to step into this fool's journey for yourself, Capricorn, honestly. Because when you think about it, the fool's journey doesn't really have anyone with them besides what they can carry and then their spiritual animal, right? Their spirit guide or what have you. And I feel like right now you're doing the final step to step into that fool's journey where you're having to just, you know, do spring cleaning of not only you, your personal belongings, but the people that you hold around you as well. Very straightforward message, I feel. And then, yeah, because a lot of things are coming to an end, but that also just means that there's about to be another door that opens to be corny. So that's the tarot reading that I have for you today, Capricorn. Hopefully something in here resonated and I'll connect to you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.